Hello all, I'd like to show you my green speed magnum. It's only a month old, but it's actually not the current model anymore. The current model has a rectangular or square main tube, this one has a round tube. This particular model is one of the last made, if not the last made of the round tube. It was given to me by my workplace as a retirement gift which was extremely generous and I was very moved by by that gesture. It's pretty much a standard model. Drum brakes. Triple chain ring. And a cassette at the back, total of 27 gears. I'm from Brisbane, Australia, and uh, Brisbane's reasonably hilly. In fact, I live on top of a reasonably decent hill, and uh, at the moment, I'm uh, out of condition and overweight, and I can't get to the top of the hill, so getting off a trike on a hill can be a bit tricky. So I usually stop at the bottom and sort of push it up. In time, I hope that'll change. The the reason for my retirement was mainly medical. I have a recent history of cancer, but apart from that I have Parkinson's disease, which I've had for eight years. And for me, it's getting difficult to get in and out of chairs and out of beds particularly, or even moving about in bed. The good thing about this particular trike is that the seat's adjustable. It can be adjusted by rake. That's the angle. These supports here have quick releases, so I just pull that out. I won't do it at the moment, but I just pull that out, and I can adjust the rake or the seat to to a variety of positions. It doesn't have a sort of step system; it's just a a length of uh, pipe. And underneath the seat, there's another quick release, which has the effect of um, changing the height of the seat. As I said, I've got it on one from the top at the moment. Of course, my condition is progressive. There will come a day when I'll put it at its highest position simply because I can get in and out of it easier. Now, the, they do make grab handles which fit where this particular post is here at the moment. You can have them both sides and I intend to get some grab handles. At the moment, I can quite easily get on the trike by grabbing hold of the tyres. But there'll come a day when the, grab handles may be necessary. Uh, I had a, a bit of a, a, a learning period with the quick releases. It took a while to get used to, particularly the one in the middle, which I haven't mentioned before, where the hinge is, there's a quick release uh, which enables the trike to be folded. There's quick releases also on the wheels. Now the wheels are very, very simple to take off. I had a lot of trouble with the quick release for the hinge in the middle of the bike, the trike. Uh, now that I've sort of got the hang of it, I don't know why I had trouble, but I, I did have a lot of trouble to begin with, getting it right and working out how it works. Now that I've, uh, I've done that, it's not a problem. What's restricting me at the moment is simply fitness, riding it too far. Um, but as far as riding it goes, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, again, if you've never had any experience with bicycles, uh, I didn't particularly. I've always ridden supermarket type bikes and not really thought much about it. Then um, you need to invest a little bit of time understanding how derail the gears work. But again, once you're used to it, it's like, like riding a bike with a bicycle, I suppose. Don't forget. Uh, I guess one of the differences between these modern race bikes, you can pick them up with one finger and they're made of these space age materials it's made money of aluminium is they're very light this trike is a little bit I think around about just under 20 kilos but you don't really notice it much on the flat it's only when you're doing, going into a headwind or going up a hill it's um but going with the, with the gearing uh, I don't find it most 
in kinds of problems, just the steeper ones. Unfortunately, as I said, I live on a, near the top of a fairly decent hill. Just careful where I walk here. That's my ex budgie cage. I say ex budgie cage because uh, we had uh, half a dozen of them about five years ago, and every now and again one escaped while we were feeding them. But we had two about two months ago. I mean, they're quite old. I don't know how long budgies live for, but quite old. And uh, one disappeared, and we couldn't work out how it got out. The cage was secure. Then a month went by, and we went to feed the other one. It was by its lonesome by this time, and practically a carpet snake was in the cage. So I'm, we're a bit of a yard's a bit heavy vegetation, so I'm a bit wary about. Not that a carpet snake is fatal, but it can bite. But uh, not the other types of snakes here too. Where I live, quite close to a um, a forest park. In fact, uh, one of the my, my my main ride, if you like, is uh, is. Um, down through a rail trail through Sanford Forest in Brisbane, or outside, just outside of Brisbane. Um, I haven't done a lot of other rides, a few on the bike paths. Brisbane has an emerging bike path network, which uh, I tend to exploit. Um, because of the condition I've got, I'd, I'm looking forward to being able to ride for some time yet. And if I can't ride, eventually I'll have a bank of happy memories to look back on. Oh, my pannier. I won't mention that. What, for me, what makes or breaks a pannier is the attachment system. I bought one and it had a convoluted system, sort of system of um, attaching, but this one's called a... What's it called? D-E-U-T-R. Juta. Sounds German or Austrian or something. It's just got a couple of metal bits here. You just hook off the... the uh, hook off the... Um, the luggage rack and it's just so simple the attachments really good so I recommend something that's easy to attach of course it's got to be secure but no good being secure if it takes you 10 minutes to get the damn thing on and off one of the things I would I have got an order from green speed it's a green speed magnum is the mirror this particular mirror um, isn't wide enough because when I'm looking at the back of it, I have, my body obscures the view. Uh, so it needs to be wider, a little bit wider. I might try and just loosen that bolt and swing it a bit. It might just be the angle it's on, but as I said, the Green Street do make grab handles and the, the mirror comes off the grab handles and I'm, I'm suspecting that eventually I'll need a grab handle or handles. I'm one of our little dogs. That's the other reason I don't want snakes, our dogs aren't particularly big. So that's my Green Speed Magnum, a gift from my workmates of many years, which I'm very grateful for. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I hope to get many more hours of pleasure out of it. Uh, probably the hallmark of this particular trike is its adjustability, the boom be taken in and out. Seats can be adjusted for height and rake. Uh, the other thing is it's easy to transport, transport. The wheels come off, the front wheels come off with just by pushing a button and attached by just pushing the same button in. The flags just pull out. Um, the thing folds over, I can fit it in my Corolla hatch without too much difficulty. As I say, the quick releases do take a little getting, getting used to. Once you're used to them, you're fine. So I've had it about a month and no technical problems really. It's, as I say, it's pretty much the standard model, nothing fancy, just a uh, 27 gears, triple chain ring at the front. Uh, the gear change is very easy. I have heard that uh, some people have noisy, clunky, chunky gear changes. This one seems to be. Silky smooth. Um, I haven't named the trike yet. I know there's a tradition to give trikes a name. I'm not sure if I look at trikes that way, but I might call it Blue Angel or something like that. Anyway, if you're new to trike riding or thinking about getting a trike, I, uh, in theory, 
used to like bike riding because it gets me out of the house and, and the, the bike paths tend to follow creeks in Brisbane and you stop and feed the gut, ducks and you know, stop to smell the roses but um, I used to get a terribly sore backside when I rode an uh, ordinary bicycle I don't get any of that riding a trike, it's really comfortable I haven't got a headrest, I might get one, I'm just not sure whether I need it I did go on a quite long ride the other day and I think it was a little bit sort of a bit not really sore but a little bit uncomfortable so I might rest in a headrest but then compared to an ordinary bike it's chalk and cheese anyway if you are going to buy a trike uh, wish you well go for one of the larger reputable brands and look for after sale service it's no good buying the damn things so and no one can fix them although in its basic configuration it's basically bicycle parts derailers, chains, that sort of thing so if you've got a bulk shop in the area they should be able to work things out Anyway, best of luck with your trike. Bye.